Hi, this is question 5 from the AQA Mechanics 1 June 2013 exam paper. Um, in this question we've got two particles that are connected by a light inextensible string that pass over a smooth peg. The particles have mass 3 kilograms and 1 kilogram. The 1 kilogram particle is pulled down to ground level where it is 40 centimetres below the level of the 3 kilogram particle as shown in this diagram. Um, we're told that the particles are released from rest with the string vertical above each particle. Um, we're going to assume that there's no resistant forces that act on the particle as they move. For part A, we need to um, form two equations of motion, one for each particle, and we need to find the magnitude of the acceleration of the particles after they've been released, but before the three kilogram uh, particles hit the ground. So um, first of all, I'm just going to stick si some forces on here. We're going to have um, in this direction here, we're going to have the weight, um, which is going to be mass times gravity, which in this case is just G. Um, and then we're also going to have a tension that's going up here. For this particle, we're going to have a weight, which is going to be 3G. And we're going to have a tension that's going to be going up in this direction here. Now these tensions are equal to each other because the two particles are connected. Now um, we need to form our two equations of motion so um, I'm first of all just going to focus on this side here and I'm going to write down an equation of motion to do with this here. Um, I'm then going to deal with different colour this here. And we're going to look at these situations separately. Okay, so for this here, I've got um, force is equal to mass times acceleration. And what I should have done is I should have marked on my acceleration. Um, because this is going to be moving down in this direction, we're going to have an acceleration over here going down and we're going to have an acceleration over here um, that's going up. Okay, so my net force is going to be, um, and because the acceleration is, is pointing upward here, it's going to be T take away G, so that the tension take away the weight is equal to the mass, which is 1, times by acceleration, which is A. And over here, I'm going to have um, the weight is going in the positive direction so 3g take away the tension is going to be equal to um, mass which is 3 times acceleration which is a okay so um, for part a just drop the line down here. okay for part a um, we've got our two equations here, so I'm just going to write them again. T take away G is equal to A, and I've got 3G take away T is equal to 3A. Um, and we want to find the magnitude of the acceleration of the particles um, after they've been released. So we're trying to work out what A is. Um, so using simple tennis equations, I could add these equations together. Um, so 3g take away t, add t take away g gives me 2g and a plus 3a is going to be equal to 4a um, so that's going to be 19.6 um, is equal to 4a so that's 2 times gravity and that works out as a um, being 4.9 meters per second per second Okay, now, um, so we've formed our two equations of motion and, and we've solved them to work out what A is. Part B says find the speed of the one kilogram particle when the three kilogram particle hits the ground. So I'm just going to tidy this up a second. Now, when the three kilogram particle hits the ground, remember it's starting at rest and then it's going to accelerate at what we've worked out to be 4.9 meters per second per second when it hits the ground this is going to be moving up with the same acceleration 
so the velocity that this hits the ground with is going to be the same as the velocity um, sorry the, the speed that this hits the ground with is going to be the same as the speed of um, the one kilogram particle um, moving upwards so what I want to do is I want to work out what speed this hits the ground at well um, we know that it's going um, but it starts at rest so if I um, just write down the information that I know we know that it starts at rest so that's going to be 0 meters per second and um, we know that it's going to travel 40 centimeters um, which is 0 0.4 meters and we know the acceleration is going to be 4.9 meters per second per second um, and what we want to know is we want to know um, what this here is what the velocity is so um, I can use the equation v squared right over here v squared is equal to u squared plus 2a s um, and that's going to be v squared is equal to 0 squared plus 2 times um, 0 0.4 times 4.9 and then I can work out what V is from here and it works out to be 1.98 meters per second okay so that's the um, velocity that this hits the ground at so this is going to be the velocity that this one kilogram particle um, is traveling at that time as well okay now part C says after the three kilogram particle has hit the ground the one kilogram particle continues to move and the string is now slack and we want to find the maximum height above ground level reached by the one kilogram particle now the key thing here is is when it hits the ground this um, string is going to be slack so this particle is now going to be behaving as a projectile um, and what that means is that the only um, force that's going to be acting on it is its own weight so using this idea, um, let's see, I'm going to write SUVAT again. We can fill in all the bits of information that we know. Okay, so um, its initial um, speed this time is going to be what we worked out here to be 1.98 meters per second. okay and um, we're trying to find the maximum height so this is the information we're trying to find um, we know th that the acceleration is just going to be um, gravity um, because it's acting as a projectile now and when it reaches its maximum height its velocity has to be zero okay so um, I can now work out what s is um, and again I can use my formula v squared is equal to u squared plus 2 a s okay so v is 0 this time u is going to be 1.98 and we've got 2 times minus 9.8 and s is what we're trying to work out so um, if I rearrange this and solve it I've got s is equal to and it's going to be 19.6 over 1.98 squared and that tells me that s is going to be equal to um, 0 0.2 dead on meters Okay, what we need to be careful about here is that the questions asked us for the maximum height above ground level. And what we said is that from this point it's displaced 0 0.2 meters. So it's already 40 centimeters um, above ground level at this point. So its um, maximum height is 
is going to be equal to the initial 0 0.4 meters it was above ground level plus the um, 0 0.2 meters um, that it's displaced so that's going to be 0 0.6 meters okay um, and finally part D um, it's saying if a constant air resistant force also acts on the particles as they move explain how this would change the answer for the acceleration in part A well if there was an exter external um, force acting on this then um, the resultant force would have to be uh, less on each particle and if the resultant force was less on each particle so if it was being resisted the resultant force would have to be less um, then the acceleration would also be reduced um, so we could say that the um, resultant force is less I apologize for my handwriting here um, so resultant force is less um, so acceleration would be reduced okay I hope that makes sense um, thanks very much for joining me um, I'll see you next time